Hi, I'm Andrew Fox and I just want to give you a quick demonstration of SAP Lumira, SAP Lumira Cloud and consuming SAP Lumira content on a mobile device being the iPad. So what we're going to do today is just quickly whiz through to Lumira and I'm going to acquire a data set. I've located a data set which is around the amount of bird strikes or accidents that are happening with aeroplanes based around hitting birds. I'm going to grab that data set, it takes a few seconds to load in and it's primarily around the USA, so we've got states and cities, we've got time and of when the bird strikes occurred, the airlines it occurred to, what the weather was like when, when it happened as well. So we're quickly going to grab this data and then we'll start exploring it. Okay, we've got a great data set now, we can look through, we've got some, some dates, but well, what would be very interesting would be for me to analyse that by years and by quarters and by months. Traditionally that's quite difficult to do when you've got to muck around in Excel formulae. Inside SAP Lumira we've got some data enrichment which makes life a lot easier. So it can build out for me a time hierarchy around years, quarters, months. It looks at what things are additive, so things we're going to, we're going to do analysis by measures. Got a couple of extra things we can do. I've got something called occurrences which is the column count of one. So how many strikes of a bird were hit by aeroplanes. So I'm going to do create a measure make that an additive again so I can do analysis by it. And we've also got some geographic information, our states. So I'm just going to do quickly there a geographic hierarchy based by names. So we can do some name matching from a data set actually hidden inside SAP Lumira's own data engine. It's matched 58 of 63 different states. Kind of matches those ones up okay. Virgin Islands just needs a little bit of clarification. So now I've got a great data set which has been enriched by time and by geolocation for me to go and play with. So we can look at visualising that data now. So how many burst strikes happened? And let's have a look at that by year. So we've got an upward trend or a downward trend. Surprisingly, between 2000 and 2010, looked like an upward trend, but we're dropping off a bit in 2011, which is probably a good thing. So we can then say, OK, that's great, but what airlines were affected by this? So we can have a look at our airlines. It's all analysing that by year. Let's just do that for um, the year of 20, 2011. So we break our year into our filter. And we're going to add a filter, say, I'm just interested in 2011 data. OK. And then show me my rank, my top 10 airlines. Well, top 11 is good, close enough. Go back to a bar chart because it makes more sense. We've got some unknown values in there. Well, actually, what we're going to do, we're going to exclude the filter of unknown. So exclude unknowns. So we can see for over time, let's remove time from here with our axes. United Airlines, Air Canada, we can see quite a significant leader who has been affected by air, um, bird strikes. Once we build out a set of these visualizations, I can just save these off down the bottom and they load there. And let's have a look at this by geographic. So which geographies are being affected? So get rid of our restrictions. We want to see everything. And show me by, by region. We've got quite a good geo map here showing me where we are based around those. So we've got some hotspots in Florida and Texas, etc. To make it a little bit easier to read how big that hotspot is, let's put some numbers on there. So we can build out and see very quickly. Um, Florida, 3,500. Texas, 6,600. So Texas seems to be quite massively affected by bird strikes. So we could filter into, it, in, into there and start saving more and doing more analysis. What I'm going to do now is just stop at that point. We've got a couple of these analyses now. Let's share this data out to SAP Lumira in the cloud. So I'm going to take my data set, which has been enriched, which I've done already. I'm going to take that data set and load it up into a cloud-based storage center. You could call it your Dropbox for BI, and that's where the data will live and we'll be able to engage with it through a web browser. So imagine the analyst has done the effort, the analyst has enriched the data, made some observations, and the analyst is now sharing that data for mass consumption via a cloud. So I'm going to say, grab the data set there, publish it to Lumira Cloud, put in my username and password, and, and load it on up. I've done that already previously to make life easier in this um, webcam. So I've got the bird strike data sitting there inside the cloud. So I can now look at a cloud-based solution. Very, very similar. So I've got the ability to look at attributes, so the fields of data, the same measures we're engaging with, and very similar 
data and visualization types. So what I'm interested in the moment, let's look at the same thing we had before, show you my occurrences by year. Okay, so we can see the same sort of shape there, show me as a trend, we get the same graph, which is, which is a great way to start. What I could be interested actually now is get rid of occurrences, actually show me which species of bird is causing me a challenge. So get rid of year as well. So my attributes will be my species. My measure again will be my occurrences. So we've got species versus occurrences. What we can do is actually build this on even further and say, well, what would be really interesting to see would be by dots. So these are data points to give me some, some, some elevation and make it easier for me to read. But then I can say, well, are these common over time? So I'm gonna take my animation and I'm gonna grab my year from this side. So I grab my year, drop it into my animation. And what we'll be able to see here is how SAP Lumira Cloud has moved the visualization world on. Watch this number down here, we're at year 2000. So it's gonna animate through year 2000 over time and showing us how the movement of those balls has actually changed over time. A very easy way for an end user to drag things around the screen animate them and actually start driving some analysis and some insight into what's happening in their data very, very quickly. So once we've gone through its cycle up to 2011, we're going to actually now we're going to save this. So we're going to save this report as um, species. Let's give that a save. OK, so what I'm going to do now is grab another part of my screen, bring it onto the page. This is my iPad Live. So you can't see my finger clicks, but I'm just going to open up the SAP BI mobile application. It's a really tough password to get in. I will change that after this video so no one can break into my iPad. But I've now got the species. So I can click on my report called Species on my iPad, which I've saved being built in Lumira Cloud off of a data set that's been enriched inside Lumira Desktop. That play button is there. So as it's cycling through on my iPad, an end user can consume a report. So think of the workflow. I'm an analyst, I'm building the data, I'm enriching the data, I'm then sharing that data to Lumira Cloud for people to actually consume via the web browser. And they can then, again, from that data set, create visualizations, share those as well to mobile users using their iPad. Hopefully it's given you a good idea of what SAP Lumira, Lumira Cloud and Mobile BI can actually do. Thank you for your time.